Do not judge a book by its cover. That is the main quote of the day today when comparing the M10 versus the F40. One of them looks pretty and sexy, but the other one performs just as best, might not look the best, might not feel the best, might not have the best materials, but it will take care of you, it will feed you, it will love you, it will nurture you. So now let's get on to comparing the M10 versus the F40. Now right off the bat, when we're talking about looks, the F40 looks sexier. It does look better and yes, it does feel better because the materials being used for the F40 are much more higher quality than the M10. But that doesn't mean that it performs better or just is all around better. The F40 has some competition with the M10. The M10 is so much more cost effective and will perform just as good, if not better, than the F40. Both the M10 and the F40 have a 350 watt motor with a max payload of 210 pounds. They both have cruise control, but for the F40, you have to turn that on via the app. And for the M10, it's already activated. For the M10, you just have to ride at a certain speed for a couple of seconds and it'll activate the cruise control. And you can see right here with the green light. They both have 10 inch pneumatic tires and both equipped with the front and tail light that light up when brakes are activated. They both have three different modes for speed. For the F40, it's Eco at nine miles per hour, top speed. In standard, you'll get to 18.6 miles per hour, but gradually. And sport, the same 18.6 mile per hour, but at a much faster rate. For the M10, in Eco, six miles per hour. Comfort, nine miles per hour. And sport, at 20 miles per hour. They both have a dual braking system, one on the rear and the other is electronically. Basically, it's regen braking. One of the best features that I love to use in all of my scooters and my car. It's basically using the electronic braking system, gaining that energy back into the batteries instead of using the brakes and wearing out the brakes. And now for range. The M10 has an 18 mile range, while the F40 has a 25 mile range. A seven mile difference, but worth $400? I don't know, we'll have to see. I am gonna do a range test for both of these today in this video, so you guys will see the difference if it is really worth that $400 difference. The M10 has a max speed of 20 miles an hour, while the F40 has a max speed of 18.6 miles per hour. Now that might not be a big difference, but what did we all learn on the first Fast and the Furious? It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Thank you, Toretto. And now for the range test. The range test, we're gonna have to do some math. So put your mathematician hat on because 20 miles an hour, 18 miles an hour, doing a range test of 25 miles or 18 miles is gonna take a very long time. So, in order for me to do this in a much shorter time, we're gonna half pretty much everything. So I have created a route that is a six mile route around my neighborhood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out the M10 first and see how long it's gonna take for it to give me a 50% range. With the M10 on the screen, there's four bars, 25% each bar. So as soon as we are done with the first two bars, we're at 50%, I'm going to stop and see how far we've come along with that neighborhood six mile route that I created. Same thing for the F40. We have 25 miles with that scooter and we're gonna see how far we can go around the neighborhood in that six mile range. With the F40, it's a little bit different. The F40 has five bars, so 20% each bar and we have an app to actually show us how much more range there is and how much more battery life there is. Now, in order to do this range test correctly, there's a couple of factors that we have to go by. Number one is weight. Your boy is 215. Take that for what it is, 215, that's my weight. If you weigh less, then it might go further. If you weigh more, it might not go as farther as I did today. The next thing we're gonna do is sport mode. We're gonna go sport mode on both of them. If I go eco mode, I will take forever if i go standard mode i might also take a very long time it is hot out there and we are gonna get a tan so with that being said though if you guys want me to because i'm here to serve 
you. If you want me to do those range tests with eco mode, which is a much slower pace, or even the middle uh, range standard uh, mode, then I can do that as well. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to try out those range tests. But for now, we're gonna keep both as sport mode, throttle all the way throughout the entire route, and we're gonna see how far we can go. The other things are like wind and route conditions, but I think it's a fair, fair game because I'm doing the exact same route barely the exact same time with both the scooters. So there is no, the M10 got, you know, flat route while the F40 got more hilly route. It's the same route, same conditions, same everything, full throttle, let's go. Okay, I just finished reaching 50% on the M10 and I was about to reach the longest stretch of this route that I have. But as soon as I looked down, the bar went down 50%, so I stopped. So I'm gonna mark it down right here in this spot on Google Maps and see how far 50% is with the M10. All right, I just made it home. I did the very first round of that uh, route that I showed you guys that I made, which is a six mile route. Again, I did nothing different with the F40. I had my thumb all the way down, or with the M10 is a little different, but I had it in full speed. And now that I am at home, it is at 49%, as you guys can see right here in the screenshot right here. It is at 49% and it is blinking right there, right in the center. And um, yeah, we're already at 45%, 49%, I'm sorry if I said 45, 49%, just 50%. And I just did one route, one full circle of that route okay we're back a little bit more tan and ready to talk about the range test for the m10 a couple of things that i've noticed while riding this scooter is number one the braking going downhill if you're going downhill super fast just be ready because the brakes do not work at least for me when i try to push those brakes while going downhill it was very scary because it was just like if just they didn't work it just kept and kept going it did not stop so just be careful with that when i did go into any other downhills i would start slow so i wasn't going full throttle i would start slow to kind of see if it can handle at least a little bit of the downhill and it did going downhill at a very fairly slow speed or just normal speed not sport mode speed I was able to use the brakes, no problem. So just be careful going downhill. The other thing is the screen, the M10 screen with direct sunlight, forget about it. It just doesn't showcase anything. With direct sunlight, you can't tell anything. You can't see your numbers. You can't see how many bars you got left, but I would just put my hand over it, give it a little bit of shade just to see how many more bars we had and how fast I was going, if cruise control was on and all that stuff. So just know that with direct sunlight, this screen, useless. And one big similarity with the M10, with all the scooters actually, they're all just fun, man. You get on these electric scooters, you have some music on, you're down the road, enjoying the wind, doing your thing, and trust me, you're gonna have a blast riding any of these scooters. But we are here for range test. How did the M10 perform? Well, let me tell you, a very good sign. We reached half percent at 7.5 miles, which means you times that by two, 15 miles total again your boy is 215 we rode it on sport mode full throttle all the way through 7.5 miles halfway mark and now in total 15 miles if i do it completely right so that's only a three mile difference from the total they claim to be 18 miles that's a really good sign 15 miles with all those factors put in i think it performed very very well now let's talk about the f 40. Good news with the F40, it feels much better. You can tell by the materials, obviously, that it feels much better than the M10. It also looks much better. We already spoke about that. So, feels better, looks better, but does it beat the range? Well, I was very, very shocked. By the time I did one go around, around this route that I created, a six mile route, the F40 was already at 49%. You guys can see right here in this screenshot, it is 49%, 10 miles more, and we only did one round of the six mile route. Six miles minus that 25 miles that they claim I should still have. 19 miles more but i was already halfway 
doing only six miles. What can that be? I'm not sure. If you have an idea of why it lost so much power with just one route, the same route as the M10, you let me know what you think it could have been because your boy didn't gain any weight within that little small time frame. If anything, I lost more with all that sweat that I did riding the first time with the M10. So it can't be that. Could it be maybe all the other features that it has? Because one thing that I've noticed with the F40, when you go downhill, the F40 has this thing, actually every single Segway has this thing where it doesn't allow you to go any faster than what they claim it to be. So 18 miles, you're going downhill, you feel a little pushback from the scooter. You can feel something is pushing you back to keep you in that 18 mile range. The exact same thing happened with the C80, which is Segway's moped. You would go downhill and it wouldn't allow you to go any more than what the, the claimed speed is. So for the Segway at 40, 18 miles per hour, that's, that's the max you're gonna go. No matter how steep that hill is, it's just gonna pull back and not allow you to go any further than that. So all I'm saying is the F40 underperformed. The F40 did not even come close to what it claims to be with the 25 mile range. Now, again, you guys let me know what you think could have happened that drained the battery that much more, but it's the same route, I promise you, same route, same time lapse, same everything that I did with the M10 and the F40 underperformed. So at the end of the day, which one am I going to choose? Now, if you're somebody that cares about performance, right? That cares about that you are going to have that range be, you know, as correct as it can be, very, very close to that range, and you wanna be, you know, fast and furious, then I would recommend the M10. If you're somebody that cares about the look and the feel of your scooter and maybe needs for some reason the app to check your you know, distance or just to lock it or any of those features, then maybe that $400 difference might work for you. Now I do say $400, but you know that comes to account with discounts and stuff like that. So check the link below. Um, these links below that I put on, they sometimes change. So it could be 25%, could be 35%. So um, I'm just going off of the cheapest that I've seen it and it's a $400 difference. So keep that in mind, but is it really worth that much more to get the F40 instead of the M10? I'm gonna leave that up to you. You let me know. After all of this information that I just gave you between the two, which one would you choose? The M10 for performance is not the prettiest thing, but it will perform for you. Or the F40 looks sexy, feels sexy, but it's not trustworthy. 25 miles, halfway, already 50%, only going six miles and 10 miles left, allegedly. I can't say that that's what it's gonna be, but allegedly 10 more miles left. Unreliable. So you let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you would choose. If it were up to me, if I were to choose one of these two, for fun, I guess, and reliability with the brakes, I would choose the F40 just to go around my neighborhood. If I needed to run an errand to go to a store that's a couple miles away without me feeling like I'm gonna get stranded or be checking up on the phone just to see, range, that's called range anxiety, just to see how much more battery I have left, I would take the M10 because I know with the M10, it's gonna give me the most accurate amount of miles. I'll be able to go, come back, no problem. With the F40, I'm just gonna have that range anxiety of, is it gonna make it? It's only 10 miles away. That's 20 mile round trip. I should make it within five miles left on the scooter, but who knows? If you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the comments. To all my current subscribers, thank you. For all my new subscribers, thank you and welcome. And you have now been submitted to the new KQI3 Pro giveaway.